to get out of the shithole, I went up one weekend to Inwood, or what I call Canada. <laughs> right? And it's this mysterious little neighborhood above Washington Heights that you can find on some old ancient maritime maps of the late 1700s. <laughs> and I went up there, I managed to find it, and I, and I saw a, with the help of a troll, and I saw a... <laughs> Oh, my troll, my real estate troll. He always pulls through for me, even his busy schedule. And I, um, you know, I saw Fort Tryon Park, and it is a beautiful park. It's got trees. It's got more trees. It's got a castle. It does. And it has a, it has a river that you can land planes in. I mean, this is fantastic. I was in a reactionary phase, right? This is a reactionary phase. I saw nature. I got seduced. There were two other things that did it. The first was the grocery store because it was named. You know, it had, it had apples and baskets outside the store. It had a barrel with pickles and a barrel with olives. And it was named after somebody, Frank's. It was painted on by his six-year-old niece who probably was a little dyslexic, you know, so it made it a little cute. You know, I, they really wanted me there. <laughs> it's imperfect. They really, really wanted me. So I hired a student film director. Like, all right, all right, let's cue a functional A train, three dollar tempo. All right, let's get some autumn leaves blowing in here. Uh, but it's July. He's in a reactionary phase. He's not going to know the difference. You know, get a couple of actors to play Amish people and cue, go, action. I saw the same two Amish people at an audition two months later for Sexy Beast, the stage play, so too late. I signed the lease. The second thing was the awnings. A building with an awning is a force of good. There, you see a building with an awning, you're thinking George and Wheezy, right? And I see these awnings it's all over the place up there. Even though the local was like, yeah, man, some guy just, man, he totally fucking beat up his girlfriend, you know? because she made him late for his gang shooting. So I'm like, I didn't, look at that awning. Wow, it's got green. I mean, is that fabric imported? You know, I, I mean, and I thought, what a great neighborhood. And it is, it really is, unless you're a single man. I knew a girl once years ago who told me, I will not date anyone who's more than four subway stops away from me. And I thought, you're about 26 years old. Because when you turn 30, then you're like, well, we'll span it to about 25 miles, you know? <laughs> then when you're 35, it's like, oh, 16 states, I'll fly out to see you. And then by the time you're 40, it's like 93 million miles in case they live in the sun. And after two years, people stopped visiting me. They just stopped. And the A train got hooked back on construction heroin. And it would stop at 168th Street, and I'd have to get off at the US-Canadian border and I'd have to go through customs, and I'd have to show them my passport, and I'd have to get bus back to my apartment. And after all of this, I said, fuck Frank! Fuck Frank and his niece. Who's Frank? I'm going to get that fucking barrel of apples, and I'm going to find out where he and his niece live, and I'm going to chuck apples in his window. And I'm going to say, this is one for every non-self-induced orgasm you have cost me over the last two years. Boom, boom, all night long, apples in his window. The moral is, there is a moral. If you're going to move to Canada, move to Canada! <laughs> so I decided to stay in New York because I have unfinished business. And New York City has a way of always making you feel like you have unfinished business. You know, there's something quietly addictive about it. You just can't leave it, really, even if you hide out in Antarctica. New York will be like, we've got unfinished business. You, know? you could die and be dead and go, I am free of this. And you're like, uh-uh, you got unfinished business. <laughs> That's why I, I, what I have is theory that um, all the dogs in the city are actually reincarnated actors. Still going, I can make it! Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> it's like, why, are there, why is there a line of chihuahuas outside the audition for Macbeth, right? <laughs> <laughs>